What is up fam? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Resident Evil Village. And uh, we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be doing the Mercenaries mode. That's where you unlock after you beat the game. You can uh, buy it. Like after you beat the game, all the points that you save up, like with selling or doing that kinds of thing with uh, Duke. The guy that sells or you can buy stuff with, supplies and everything. Anyway, the points basically help you buy stuff like supplies guns in the game well also you can use those points for like bonuses you can buy mercenaries i bought that with my points or you can do extra content shop so you can buy all this see i purchased it extra game it's the mercenaries mode as you can see i have 9500 current cp points current points so uh i'm trying to get this special weapon the lz answerer and it's uh to co you have to complete all stages with at least ss rank and the mercenaries and to unlock that one for purchase i'm trying to get that and i want infinite ammo too but forty thousand for that infinite ammo i'll just show you real quick see i bought all this except for that special weapon that special weapon and this special weapon and obviously Obviously that one because you need to get the SS rank and the mercenaries to unlock that one But as you can see I haven't bought that one yet. Oh, oh that'd be cool to get that 80,000 Infinite ammo for the GM 79 grenade launcher. That'd be cool to fight bosses with Turn on turn on and off in game settings I'm currently trying to rebeat the story mode on Hardened because I beat it on easy and normal and I did gameplay of the whole story mode. If you haven't checked any of those parts out, make sure to go check them out. But look, as you can see, I purchased all of these. Oh, except for these. But those are just figures, but I purchased all the story mode and other uh, figures on here in the game. But movies. Oh yeah, I did a video on that, but it's just showing the clip and it's called Remembering Resident Evil 7. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check that out if you want. And I also did a video on the visual development of Resident Evil Village. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check that out if you want. Okay, let me know down in the comments if you would like me to do a video on this. And it'd be called the visual production of Resident Evil Village. I might do it anyway, but I might give, I might wait some time to see if you guys will comment below. To see if you will want to see it. But I, I was thinking about doing it, but I want to see what you would want to see. Like, I want to see if, uh, if you guys even want to see it. So, if you do, make sure you comment below. I'll give it about a month to see if you guys comment below if you want to see the, the visual production of the game. But if, if after a month, I might just upload it anyway because it'd be something cool to watch. And what it is is what you do is you watch the production of Resident Evil Village cutscenes and from the pre-visual, pre pre uh, hold on, sorry, it's a struggle, the struggle's real, ain't it? <laughs> you, uh, do, you do the pre-visualizations, pre motion capturing in LA and final implementation. Implementation, yeah, that's what that is, okay. That's what that is in movies. I'm showing you the bonus stuff real quick before we jump into the video. Oh yeah, you, you get concept art. It's actually a lot to go through. I might do a separate video on this stuff. I'm just showing you a quick visual of it real quick. For example, yeah, Heisenberg. Like the boss, when he gets the boss. There's Heisenberg right here. And I'll show you this real quick. Oh, 
Creepy that face is, boy. <laughs> um, remember this big guy? I don't know if you played the game, but if you have, I'm sure you know who this guy is. Pretty crazy, but. Uh, yeah, we got her, you know. See, the Merchant Duke, that's the Duke guy I was telling you about, where you, you can buy weapons from, where you can sell stuff for money, for like points, and you can use those points to, you can add it throughout the gameplay, and like, wait until you beat the game, I mean obviously buy ammo, and buy extra, you know, more powerful guns, if you, when you do get the points to do it, so, but, like I said, you can use those points, when you beat the game, you can use it to purchase stuff like this. Mm, and Chris, I remember Chris from Resident Evil 5, Ethan, Mia, and Rose. So you get Ethan, you get Mia and Rose, Mia and Rose, and you get Mia. And this is the Rosemary Winters grown up, that's when she's all grown up. See, look at that. I don't want to spend too much time on this because the point of this video is I was going to show you do me doing some of the Mercenaries gameplay. You know, the extra game mode you can buy. Figurines, I'll show you some of these. Ethan Winters. Okay, his face is blacked out, but that's Ethan Winters. Mia Winters. Um, uh, hold on. Yeah, that's her right there. She's holding Rose. So, yeah. Yeah, that's Mia Rose. Mia Winters, sorry. Mia and Rose, but okay, Rosemary Winters, baby. That's her as a baby. Look at that cute face. That's her... And then we got Chris. Yeah, that's him right there. He's got a gun. I'll show you the gun too. Look at that. He's got a silencer on that shit too. <laughs> and we got the Duke. The guy you buy stuff from and sell stuff from. You know that big guy? Look at that thick boy. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that's him. I'm giving you extras in this video, just showing you this stuff. Got the hag. Remember this crazy lady? The skulls, she's holding like skulls, holding a stick with skulls on it. Look at that, bam. She looks really creepy. Oh yeah, that's creepy. So like she's staring into your soul. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I remember Icon. These ones are crazy. But I'm just gonna say, like, forget it and make this into uh, a mercenaries video and showing you all my unlocks that I bought so far. I'm showing you my f the figurines. Icon. Oh, the large one. This is like the. He's all like armor and he's big. That's crazy. Huh. Varl lock. Oh wow, those are crazy too. Look how big that mouth is. Got a lot of hair. 
Oh, that's the guy, the big guy I was telling you about. Here he is, and he's, uh, he's got that big ass hammer, looks like. Imagine getting, imagine getting pounded by that, that would hurt. He's got chains around it. Alright, I'm gonna show you his face. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can't zoom in anymore, but anyway, that's him. I don't know if you can see that pretty good. He's got a lot of hair. He's pretty big. Yeah, he's a big boy. Moving on to Alcina uh, Dimitrescu. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just have trouble saying her name. But I'm sure you know her. Yeah. When I fought her, when when she turned into the big boss, when she gets mutated, I didn't die once. If you see my uh, gameplay on that video, she's actually pretty easy, but. She's a little harder on Harden, but I'm, I still passed it. Bella. She's one of the witches. One of her daughters. Yeah, that's the witches right here. One, one of the witches is Bella. It's crazy. Yep, that's Bella. One of the daughters. Here's one of the other daughters, Cassandra. Um, go down. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna try to get right, uh, right there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do a quick spin around real quick. And yep, that's Cassandra, one of the other daughters. Daniela. It's one of the other daughters, one of the witches. Look at. Yep, one of the other daughters. Oh, this one's creepy. More like, I guess, how you'd say that? I don't know. But look, he has like a, he's creepy looking. He's got a sword. Yeah, you know, that's him. We got Samka. <laughs> that's really crazy. These are the flying creatures. Look at that, that's so weird looking. Oh, look at that move. That's so weird and just, ah. Yeah, and then we've got mutated. Yeah, th this, is what I'm, this is what I was telling you about. The lady, the, the, the uh, lady, uh, the tall lady. I'm just gonna call her the tall lady because I have problems saying her name, her last name, Dimitrescu. And this is the mutated one. This one I was telling you about when she's mutated. Like I said, she's pretty hard on Harden. But I still didn't die. But like, when I do it on normal or standard, she's really easy to be honest. Because I didn't die at all, but... Harden, I didn't almost die, but I didn't. Donna. I'm sure you remember Donna. And then the, and Angie. I remember when you fight her, you just go around and try, try to find her and, and you pick her up and stab her. It's like a hide and go seek type of thing. <laughs> anyway, that's Donna and Angie. Baby, oh, this thing was creepy. More like disgusting too, though. Oh, I'm gonna eat you alive. <laughs> yeah, but this thing's really nasty. I don't know if you guys want to see this, but I'm just showing you. It's 
Yeah, disgusting. Anyway, moving on. Oh, I remember this. More you. I remember the mutated version of him. It's like... Oh. Mario B. Yeah, when he starts getting a little bit more mutated, and then after this, then he comes the big boss. Look at those eyes on there. These things are nasty looking. Look at that. Huh. I don't know. Anyway, that's him right there on B. Where he's almost become more mutated, like almost the boss. Now he's the mutated one. That's the big boy. He turns into a big boss. You have to fight him like this. Look at that big mouth, and he's right there. He got a bunch of eyeballs on there. I'm gonna do a quick spin around real quick. Eyeballs, weird. Yeah, that's the mutated Moryu, and then uh, Carl Heisenberg. This is Carl Heisenberg right here. Smoking a cigar. Yep, that's Carl Heisenberg right there. And then we got Holler. I remember these things. Those are do a quick spin around and move on to the next one. Yeah, but that's that's Holler. Oh, okay. Sold that Eins. Okay, that's another one. You see that light in his right? Well, it might be his left part of his chest. You have to keep shooting that to kill him. Remember that part. But I sold that irons. Yep, that's that one. And we got sold that Zwai. I remember these ones. I remember this one. Okay. Yeah, I've got so that's why for you. I well, have to shoot him in the back this time, not the front. So that jet. Oh yeah, I remember this one. that panzer he's like crazy and uh yeah he's like one of the crazy ones stir sturm yeah this makes him a big fan you know like come after you pretty fast you have to keep shooting him like when he runs into a wall and he stops you shoot that light right there if you see it right there that big bright red light you keep shooting that and you'll eventually kill him, but that's that one for Sturm. And you got the mutated Heisenberg. This one, this boss was pretty fun fighting in my opinion. I enjoyed fighting this boss. It's pretty fun. I didn't die of course, but it's not too bad. I died at the end. I don't know if you've seen me that gameplay yet. The, the last part, well not the very last part. Because the second to last, it was like part 10 or part 9. But anyway, when I'm fighting Miranda, I died a few times. And it started to piss me off. And then I'm like... <laughs> anyway, that's the only boss I really died on. And I think I died once on 
this one. Mario mutated this one. I died once off that boss, I think. And then, we'll, okay, Umber Eyes. Oh, we know Chris. These are just Night Owl and then Can 9 and then Umber Eyes. I'm sure, like, BS Double uh, A Soldier. Oh, look at that. That one's pretty gnarly looking. But, uh, Arios Stradger. I'm gonna show you the, um, the detailed view of this one. But, hold on. What the hell? Anyway, yeah, that's the detailed view of this. Pretty crazy. Wow. I don't want to bore you guys. I'm trying to do this, but there's a lot of them. But look at that. Look at look at that big spike ball he has. It's crazy. It looks really gnarly looking. I don't know. I remember when you had to fight him. So... That's basically for that one. And then we got Miranda. The one I was telling you about. The one that I died twice or three times on. Pretty, it's pretty uh, a little difficult, but you just gotta, you know, you gotta stay focused, you know, you gotta be cautious and, you know, be, you know, observant, you know. But this is Miranda right here. Dang. That's Miranda. Let her turn her and let her walk away. And then mutated Miranda. She gets pretty crazy there. Look at those things off her. That's crazy. That is really weird. Looks like she's like farming to a spider. <laughs> That's her, the mutated version of her, and then the mutated Miranda when she's flying for him. This one's gnarly too. How about this one? It's pretty cool. Oh wow. So that's mutated Miranda flying for him. So I'm going to turn her, walk away, reset, back out. Mutated Miranda spider form. Okay, I don't want my sister in the background. Then we got Miranda the third. I can't really turn all the way around, but this is uh, the Miranda Berserk. Rosemary Winters. This is where she's all grown up. Okay. I'll do a quick spin.
I'm gonna do my synth grooves beat. I like that when I'm showing gameplay or I'm playing something. I like to do that beat. I'm actually gonna. Nocturnal beat. Play that one. Alright, so that's all the figurines. All the figures I showed you. Hope you enjoyed those. But we're gonna move on. Those are just challenges. Concept art. Uh, let's, I want to show you this gnarly right here. Yeah, this um, concept art for Resident 7. This is uh, the art director's comment. He said, design for the four-legged molded, the name molded comes from mold and transform. Okay, the director's comment. The, the main antagonists were the Baker family. So the designs of the general monsters, the molded, were some of the hardest ones. They needed to stand out without taking attention away from the Bakers. The Bakers look realistically human thanks to a technique using scanned photographs. So we wanted the molded to not outshine them. comment on that one. Yeah. Crazy. Alright. So I showed you the figurines, the tragedy of getting went through concept art, concept art, showed some of that. Went through and showed you the uh, extra concept shop. I showed you all the bonuses except for the Baker Incident Report. But now we're going to jump into the mercenaries like I was going to show you. So I'm going to start. Do the village. Pick up the ammo right here. Let's see. As you wish. Okay, let's see. We got 20 grand. 
fifteen thousand for the rifle. Choose wisely. Your life may depend on it. Okay, I want a sniper. Oh, excellent choice. I don't have flesh on. I'm gonna have to continue like this. Next we meet. Okay, we got. Oh, okay. SSS question marks. SSS seven fifty-six thousand. S is just six hundred thirty thousand. A is four hundred twenty thousand, and B is hundred sixty-eight thousand, and C is zero. Rewards of the village, and then S unlocked ability magic magazines, and then A unlocked stays the castle, and then B five thousand. Z, so it'd be points. Alrighty. Let's get going on this, fam. Hope you're enjoying the video, by the way. And hope you have an amazing day or night, whatever time you're watching this. So, classic reggae, let's go. Oh. Okay, forget that plan. Get this out for the. Come over here, see what happens, dog. Oh, that's how it's done. Get out of here! I send an aim at you. Where's that first. Oh, yeah, there it is. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Okay, adrenaline. Choose an ability. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know if you can hear the beat. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna go this way. Pipe bomb. Where'd that go? Uh, super guard. Oh, shit. Oh. all the enemies there. Okay, where's the fixing marker? Objective complete, go has spawn.
Uh, pistol master, blade master. I didn't, I did terrible, but I could have done better. Complete. We got this. It is horrible, dude. I made good with the shooting, but it took longer than I expected. Seventy-four thousand. Shall I choose something for? You? Nah. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. You'll be slaughtering things in droves. Can we do another round? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna do another uh, round for you guys. Assassination Dash. Ooh, I'm trying to kill the damn guy. He's like... They're everywhere, dude. Let's see, 15 enemies. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, first aid. Ooh, you almost got me. Yeah, this mercenary looks crazy. Shotgun master. I knew there's a guy up there. Oh, got me. Now I got you. What the hell? Oh. I'm trying to find more enemies, I'm supposed to defeat 15 enemies as well. Ten. Got ten enemies. Eleven. I 
I need two more enemies. Two more enemies. I need one more enemy. That's crazy. But, um, gotta do 23, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that many enemies. There. Last enemy at. I'm gonna go up there and grab that. I hear him. Why up here? Knew it. Wait. Uh, I know he's down there. All right, it's time to go bust it down. Clear. Our area complete. Come on, move on to the next area. Yeah, it's then 1911. <laughs> That's in my health. Please come again. All right. I'm sorry about this fan, but I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram. My my Instagram is Eli Hamilton13. And uh, yeah, peace out. But before we go, I love you guys. Take care and God bless. Like I said before in my previous videos, I appreciate all the support and everything you do for me and my channel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I really appreciate it. I really do. I mean, it with all my heart. I love you guys. Take care. God bless. And uh, yeah, peace out. Eli Hamilton is out.